Hey everyone, welcome to the Weekend Extra. Pastor Joe here with Pastor Jeff, wrapping up the It's What We Do series. It's been a blast. It's been awesome. Came, we saw, we went and did. It's pretty amazing. So <laughs> uh, so if you missed that series, make sure you check that out. Diving into all these challenges, diving into the Go and Do Weekend. It's been an incredible month around here. But tonight we kind of talked a little bit about what it's going to be like to eventually like stand before Christ yeah. as a follower of Jesus. Um, obviously at that point we've lived our lives on earth. Uh, we've done certain things that are worth it, that have value, that have uh, substance, especially as a follower of Christ and the meaningness to God, meaningfulness to God. And it made me think of this passage, Jeff, that's in 1 Corinthians 3, and this is a little bit different than normal, but I want to read this part of the passage yeah, and talk about it. it. So uh, 1 Corinthians 3, verse 10, it starts this, by the grace God has given me, I laid a foundation as a wise builder and someone else is building on it. This mm-hmm. is Paul speaking, but he says, but each one should build with care care for no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid which is Jesus Christ if anyone builds on this foundation using gold silver costly stones wood hay or straw their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light it will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work if what has been built survives the builder will receive a reward and if it's burned up the builder will suffer loss but yet will be saved even though one only only as escaping through the flames. I've always loved this passage, just kind of brings to the surface. But Jeff, I'd love for you to just kind of expound a little bit in light of your message, like what this passage is kind of teaching us. So (laughs) it's talking about a life well invested, really, is what Paul's driving at. And he's saying the foundation for all things is Christ. And then what I do for Christ, right, my good works, uh, the internal, the eternal investments that I make for Christ. Um, where, where Paul's going, and where we have to be careful is some of what we talked about this weekend. That Christ is not looking for my piety; he's looking for my passion. And so these are issues of the heart, right? So wood, hay, and straw um, are things of no eternal value. The gold, silver, precious stones are things of eternal value. What I think we have to be careful of as Christ followers is that when we think of things of eternal value, we're not thinking about behaviors. We're not thinking about the magnitude of our investment. I gave this much money, somebody else gave this much money. Um, We're not thinking about our piety. I never smoked, drink, or chewed, or date girls who do kind of a thing, and and you did. Jesus would address those things in other places in the scripture, the widow's might, the Pharisee's prayer, all those kind of things. The things that are precious silver, gold, and precious stones are things that are done in the name of Christ that have eternal value. So loving my neighbor as myself is something that is gold. Uh, Forgiving as I have been forgiven is something that is gold. Loving my enemy is something that is gold. In the kingdom of God, what is precious in the kingdom of God is valueless in the kingdom of the world and, and vice versa. So those precious stones and those fine uh, metals that Paul re- reads there says when, when we go through the purifying fire of judgment, when things are weighed on God's scale, It is loving the Lord my God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and loving my neighbor as myself. It's those two greatest commandments and how that plays out in my life. Now, this is what happens. If I do that math wrong, I'll try to be super Christian. And and I will look to all of the acts of piety around me, and I will try to do that in a a big way, which is often as a self-righteousness. If I do the math correctly, I will try to be passionate follower of Jesus. And those acts often come out differently. So if you asked me, uh, what are the most valuable things that I own? Uh, It wouldn't be my car, my television, or my house. It actually would be the things my children did for me as an act of love. So I uh, I have these five pieces of pottery in my office. And for five years in a row, when my daughter Naomi was little, we would go on my birthday to this pottery place, and we would make pottery for my birthday. 
You I, love pottery, don't you? I I'm a I'm passionate about pottery, right? And and they're not painted well, and <clears throat> they're not fine art, and they're valueless to anybody but me. But to me, they're gold. See, because they they were an expression of love from my child to her father, and so that's what Paul's talking about. And and when we think about the reward of heaven when we think about the investment of our life why we do what we do that's where god would want our heart and mind on it and that's the outcome of it i love that as we've been talking about this challenge this concept kept coming up about it we hope it's a runway Right. That it had a beginning. We started it on Easter. We just wrapped it up this weekend. Right. But we hope that it's not like, well, now we're done. But instead, that yeah. this would be the launching pad, the runway. Now we're taking off where we invest our lives in these types of things right. that actually pay off, that have eternal reward, that have an eternal echo, that actually mean something to God and actually build in not only, in, of course, to our life, but to build into lot, countless lives of others. Yeah, we learned and we practiced. Yep. And now we want to become. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So uh, continue to, you know, use this series as something you look back to as kind of a, a foundation of making sure that we're diving into those disciplines to connect with the heart of God so we can become the people that God wants us to be. Thanks for joining us for the Weekend Extra. This is Joe and Jeff. We'll catch you next time.